Yo, what is up guys, JD0 bringing you a, guess you could say a team build up. I usually don't do this, I don't usually do team build ups, but I'm going to be doing some team build ups. Uh, basically, I pretty much separate this into like two different teams. Uh, it's not going to be like for sure what I'm going to be um, bringing in once I do get anybody uh, but not only this video is about a team building video uh, I also have a basically some updates on the uh, SCL basically the Squirtle Shader I mean that's the Squirtle Shader but the Squirtle Championship League has some updates on the Championship League um, Basically, Char, Chadazar, Chadazar, I guess you could say, uh, who's supposed to be the other coach. Uh, apparently, we I've been trying to get in contact with him. The other coaches have been trying to get in contact with him. So far, no answer from him. Uh, he wanted to be part of this league. He was hoping to be able to do another league. He was. I've seen his latest videos and I noticed that he wanted to be part of this league or at least be a part of some league and be you know doing something like that and knowing the fact that I we didn't get to be part of the stream when we were streaming for the draft I he pretty much just gave up I mean he just like I kind of win by default now as to what my members the other coaches basically what happened was the coaches were talking to me about okay I can't win by default it's just not gonna happen I'm not gonna win by default so here's the thing the only way for me to actually move up, move on to the next uh, round or for someone else to move up to the next round is whoever like for the for that from that first round I could choose from one of the three people who loses in that round and they have an opportunity to go to the semifinals so that's the thing. I have three people to choose from from the first round to really move to the next round. Um, but that's pretty much it. I mean, again, it's technically where I'm kind of in that point where, in a way, I'm kind of in the semi rounds, but I'm not. So. Cause they, cause the coach just doesn't want me to win by default. Now, it's kind of concerning, but I kind of respect the coaches for one. You know, again, even though one coach wasn't able to draft his team or do anything, other than that, our geese let us know that he's not gonna be willing to join the league, or you know, something came up, something, you know. Yo, let us know, because a lot of other people who try to join this league can, you know, be a part of the league, and they have to say, yeah, I can't do it. But he was one of the coaches who just didn't, you know, you know, accept the content. He just didn't accept me, you know, accepting us to get in contact with us about the situation. So, again... It's kind of like I just won by default, but again, like I said, the coaches don't want that to happen. So, what me and the other coaches decided, especially me, I decided, okay, from out of the three people out of that first round that loses, I will choose one of those three uh, people that I'm going to be getting to advance to the next round. Now, if I don't advance to the next round, if I do lose to
two of my matches between one of these three people, I don't advance to the next round. But they will advance to the next round, therefore being into the semifinals. Because they get a second chance. But if I win against one of the three people, then I'll be like, okay, I can advance to the semi rounds against whoever is in the semi rounds, and then against whoever is in the final round. But again, like I said, it's one of those things where, again, yeah, I wish I could do something to gain content with. Chatizard, Chatizard still have not basically gone online to check his message and has, you know, told me anything. Um, other than that, let's go ahead and get into the team building. I know I've been rambling along a lot, but, you know, let's go ahead and get into the team building. I mean, it's been like, what, like at least a good couple of minutes. But, uh, basically... So this is a team build about, uh, let me just exit that, I swear, these pop-ups. Um, but yeah, so as you can see, we have the draft here. Um, the only draft that I'm really kind of depending on is if I'm able to deal with anybody in this squad. If if anybody do loses their three rounds, let's see, because we got one, two, and three, four, and five, and six. So between the six members here, or the six coaches here, and if I would really have to choose out of the six members, and this is a hypothetical, if I was have to choose to against one of these six men, one of out of these six members that. Probably lost on one of the out of the three members, or one out of the three coaches. If one of them did lose, I mean it's not gonna be into my favor, but hypothetically it is. I would choose somewhere between the Tala Flames or let's see. The Wisconsin uh, Wellords, because Wisconsin Wellords doesn't seem like that much of a threat to be able to somehow come around against them. Then you do have uh, the Niami uh, Gorgas, Gorgas, Gorgigas. I can't, I always get these freaking pronunciations wrong. Sorry. Uh, I mean, we do have a couple of other teams, other couple of, I don't know, it's just, it, it really depends on who I pick, though, it really does. Uh, but I do have my Jirachi, I do have Hydreigon, I do have Lanoon, I do have Togekiss, depending on, I don't know. Because, trying to deal with their teams, if, if I know, because I know a lot of people Expecting me to go with the flinch god uh, Togekiss. I do go with air slash for most of my moveset. So, so it is gonna be one of those things where I do have like a speed, fast attacker or whatever. If I do run choice scarf on it, and it is gonna be like timid if that's the case. But yeah, that's the thing. That's a hypothetical thing. That's the same thing. Is it just one of those hypothetical things? Uh, the same thing goes with this one, but this one is more of, since it's a belly drum setup, I will have that same collusion where it's like, okay, well, one, it's Lanoon. If I run Lanoon the way I'm gonna run Lanoon, it's pretty much gonna be a belly drum set. I'm just hoping that no one would go into it and attack it, and expecting me to, you know, that belly drum and then still able to survive a hit and then extreme speed or any other moves or whatever but that's a hypothetical thing as well because I don't I still don't know exactly what my movesets are between these mods then we have Hydreigon 
And Hydreigon runs both ways because there's a dual attacker and dual special attacker. So depending on the movesets off of this one is another difficult issue. Jirachi on the other hand, I mean again this is another mod that I'm still kind of if iffy about. Especially if I'm running a special event Jirachi. Cause I will have the uh, heart stamp ability, uh, the heart stamp uh, attack move, or the iron hit, and that's another thing with iron hit and the heart stamp a bit. So it's just like, ah, uh, what can I run with this, you know? But again, here's the here's the issue, where knowing the fact that I have these certain sets that I could run through, I don't know how I'm gonna run it. But again, that's a hypothetical chance I might use this particular team. I might even use the second part of my team. And you might see something like this. Now, uh, there is that case. So, say if I run this here, I'm guaranteed to anchor shot something to keep something in. That's a hypothetical thing. Uh, I don't know why I keep saying that's a hypothetical, but again, it's one of those things. Uh, but if I was running something like this, I would have anchor shot. I'd probably run the build, I would probably run the item, uh, what was it? The uh, Zernium Stillium Z onto that. So I'm gonna get a get a Z move attack. Plus, I have still work. It still work. Kind of multiply that still attack by 1.5. So I'm even getting a much stronger still attack move on top of that because it's doubling by 1.5. So. Increase of that attack is going to be a little bit higher. And I probably will be able to guarantee one shot something on top of that. Mm. But there's so many ways to run in this bond, so that's another thing. So much things could have happened with this one. Uh, same thing with this. I'm kind of still concerned about how I'm going to run this because I know I usually, if anything, I know a lot of people run this particular move, shift guard, a uh, shift, what is it called, shift, uh, shift gear, uh, shift gear might be a thing, it might not be a thing. It could be a thing because I'm do, I do get like a attack and get plus one attack. And I do get double on speed. Could be a thing. Possibly. Uh, if anybody knows how the run still is still a, it's a common setup that a lot of people do use. And it's that Elite Seed set. I don't know as to yet if I really want to run Silla Stila like that. I might run Silla Stila a different way. But that's another possible chance of doing. Then I do have a uh, Necrozma and I don't know if I'm going to run this weakness policy. I'm not too sure if I really want to run something like that. I might change it a little bit later in game. I'm going to try to do some mock battles with it and see how it works. But I'm not too sure if I really want to run weakness policy on my Pokemon. Uh, Anything I am gonna use Calm Mind, but I still don't know because even if I do that, plus the fact that I do get weakness policy off because someone tried to attack me with a super effective move, I do get that plus two the uh, special attack and physical attack plus the Calm Mind on top of that. That's just putting me at plus three. So again, it's. It really depends. It just generally just really depends. 
Uh, I'm still gonna have to go over it, but I don't really know. I just really don't know. Um, again, it depends on this team here that I'm dealing with. So, uh, whoever I'm gonna go against for the coaches, whoever coaching I'm getting, it just it really depends. I'm not really too sure of it, but it's one of those things. Um, I don't know. I really just don't know. Hmm. It's kind of annoying. It's really, really kind of annoying. Um, again, like I said, I'm not really too sure. This is not the official team or well, not the official setting of everything because I know a lot of people are going to try to like take advantage of that so again like I said that's why I only put like one set there because it's not going to be official and I am going to eventually change certain things around if that's the case but Again, like I said, depending on who I'm guessing to see if I could, you know, get a, a setting, depending on what it is. Again, that's two teams that I'm going to have to make out of. Again, these are not the official teams. These are two teams that I'm looking at, trying to see exactly if I want to run it like this or I want to run it like that. It depends but I'm not too sure <clears throat> but yeah it's it's really concerning it's really really truly concerning that I kind of want to run this but there's so many ways to running it and I don't know for sure yet hopefully I can make a decision by the time that I see the other matches go on to because that's just, it's literally like three weeks of me watching content from the other coaches and for me to not post anything because I can't make up for those three weeks. I will have to make up for the three weeks once everybody else got their three week matches in, basically. So that's kind of sucks on my part, but Again, those are one of those things I had to officially wait because one coach, one coach couldn't get online to respond to my messages and so he can let me know that he's not going to be able to be a part of the, the league because of uh, stuff that's going on in his life that preventing him to not get on either he's working or not working or this and that you know again it's like I work all the time I understand but if you can make one little time to at least be a part of the stream or at least get online to say hey I can't do this leak because something just came up not letting people know ahead of time kind of sucks kind of really does suck and I wish they could have I wish he could have did that um yeah again like I said I kind of win by default since this is the first week of the uh of the starting round of round one uh so like like I said that first match that goes up on week one, it goes up on week one. Second match on week two for the coaches. Uh, the third week is the third match for those coaches. And then once those, once the third match go up on the, for those coaches, I will get one of these coaches and then I'll have to make up for those three weeks from one of the coaches that lost. Uh, but that's still kind of like giving them as to much content if they want to put it up there. Uh, like I said, I'm, 
I'm more trying to collab with everybody on this one and anything to help other people get content up other than me but now it's like now I need helping content on the channel so it'll be beneficial to helping me but it's more of more beneficial for the other codes to put up more content on their channel so again it's like I'm still also giving them the second chance to get back into the league on top of that so once the semi vital the semi round does start I feel like the semi see here's the thing even though I said it's gonna be taking like three weeks to put up video content then you have the second the well the semi rounds that you have to put up content as well uh, for the semi round content the semi round content won't get started until I actually have my battle and the fact that I need to put up content so until the semi round the semi round start is when me or the other coaches that I choose to battle with wins their round will go into the semi rounds and then the week for the semi rounds will start once the week for the semi rounds start and whoever finished the semi rounds will go on to the final rounds and then do the starting week for the semi the, for the final rounds that's how it's gonna be done uh, again this is more of it was an update explaining some things and a team build because I really needed to talk to you guys on the subject from the Squirtle Championship League, the SCL, and see where we're going to be coming with, with dealing with stuff for this league because again, it was just nothing but hecticness, hecticness, and uh, trying to get in contact again like I said trying to get in contact with Chatizard and Chatizard it's not longer it just seems to be not online seems to not be uh, responding on his discord for some reason I just don't know what's going on I wish he could get in contact with me or one of the other coaches about the situation but again you know just there's not there's no word from him so I don't know what to do I just don't know uh, but yeah uh, thank you guys for just coming out to you know you know just watching this video and understanding what's going on in the league because again I haven't really like uploaded anything because I was still trying to get in contact with Chatizard and still Chatizard has not popped up so and then there's the fact of work so again I'm surprised I was able to get content up today and especially since I'm amped a little bit tired but I wanted to get up here state some stuff and needed to get my my process out uh, my words out and ex explain how I feel about the situation and also still give you guys a team build because I already did an analyze video I just needed to do a team build video and um, I know none of the other coaches had did official team um, team build video yet. Uh, I know they're probably just gonna get straight into uploading their first round matches, and then they have to upload their second round matches on the next week after, and then the third week after that to finishing that first round. But yeah, it's just again, like I said, guys, it's just been that issue where again and then also I got into the whole Black Ops 4 uh, trying to test myself into Black Ops 4 once Black Ops 4 comes out I've been playing the beta as well 
but enough of that because uh, I know this is going to be like a long video and I don't want to make it a long video I know how people feel about long videos I'm not trying to make a long video but again instead of rambling on see you guys again see you guys bye later see ya